I'm sure that your Tinder and dating app photos totally suck. And because of that, you're getting absolutely no matches on the dating apps that you're using. But don't worry, for 10 years, I've worked as a dating coach, a dating app coach, and a photographer for guys on dating apps. I'm gonna break down everything that I know to make your account go from being a massive failure, which is pretty much 99% of guys in this day and age, to making a success. There's a thousand wrong ways to take a dating app photo and only one right way. So I'm gonna break that down and explain it to you. Then I'm gonna give you five tips, five incredible tips, our best tips that we know to make your dating apps work and work the way they should. I mean, it's a dating app. You're supposed to get dates, but the reality is 99% of guys don't get anything on dating apps, which is so frustrating. They're, they're supposed to give you dates, but they don't. And then at the end of all of this, I've got two incredible implementation hacks that you need to know that's gonna make your dating apps work right away that nobody knows about. And if you know about it, you'll be able to use these tips today, fire up your photos, get your dating apps working, and then you can have a happy dating life. But the question is, who am I and why do I have the information about dating app photos to teach it to you. Well, my name is Alex. Alex Social is my working name and I do this program called the Four Week Natural, which is a live five week coaching program. And I also do online mentorship where I work with guys for 12 weeks. And when, when I work with guys live for five weeks and online for 12 weeks, I can witness the process that guys go through, the way they use their apps and the way their photos get them results or don't get them results. So especially when I'm with guys on five weeks and I do this in New York and London and Melbourne, places like that, I will do a fashion makeover with a guy. Then we'll go out and take a whole lot of photos. I do the photography, I do the choosing, I do the editing. And then I can see how those photos are working or not working. And then with all of that feedback, over the course of the 10 years that I've done this, since 2015, I can see what photos work, what expressions work, what lighting works, what camera settings work, because the proof is in the pudding. When I meet a guy on week one, we do the photos and the fashion, and then I witness on week two and three and four and five, if their photos and their messages and their apps are getting results. So all of that information is gonna go into that video right now. So let me first start by explaining why girls get it so right and they understand photos so well and why you get it so wrong. If I ask you the question, why do girls take so many photos of themselves and of the dress they're wearing, they're, the event that they're at. And guys often think it's because girls are self-absorbed or they don't know what else to do or they're socially awkward, but it's not that at all. What you don't understand if you're a regular guy is that when a girl gets dressed up for a night out with the consideration that goes into the outfit, the combination of makeup, the styling of the hair, and then putting it all together, that's like a work of art. And that's a work of art that's not gonna last forever. If you've ever had, as a guy, your car detailed, you know, you get like new accessories on your car, or new rims, and you get it detailed and waxed, that's worth a photograph, because you know that that state of that car is not gonna last there that long. So that's why girls are masters when it comes to taking photos, social photos, remembering the moment, and capturing themselves in a really flattering way. The problem is, what that means for you is that the girls and women that you're matching with on dating apps are absolute experts at understanding what goes into a photo, the effort that goes into the photo, the way that you look, the lighting, the quality. Their standards and practices of photo taking is infinitely better than yours and you're being judged by those standards. Massive Tinder problem number two is that in the dating game, guys are evaluated based on their personality and their prosperity, how they're doing in their business and their professional life. So here, you got the girls getting all dressed up, going to all of these events and taking really great photos with their friends, understanding the value of those photos. And you're supposed to show your personality and your prosperity in a two-dimensional photo. You're falling so far short. So the end result is the only photos that you do use on your dating app are some half ass photos that were taken in a group setting when you were casually dressed that you didn't take very seriously. The end result is your photos absolutely suck. Okay, so let's get down to these five tips that's gonna make it work. That is lighting, expression, distance, occasion, and the other photos. Number one, lighting. We have this concept called the soldier profile photo, and it's absolutely imperative that your first photo has really well-lit eyes. But the thing is, in the world of photography, in the world of dating apps, the only way that you can get well-lit eyes is under very unusual and special conditions. It's gonna be in a studio with proper studio lighting or two natural conditions, and that would be inside of a beautiful big window, like a floor to ceiling window, or at dawn or dusk. But those floor to ceiling windows are the best ways to actually get light on your face. If you look at all of your old photos, they're all gonna have these big dark kind of shadows in your eyes. 
what you need to have is really beautifully illuminated eyes and it's easy to do. What you do is you have somebody take your photo or you set up a tripod as I've got here inside of something like a hall or a gallery or a museum or a school or a university they always have these big beautiful windows the light comes in and then that way your face is illuminated and balanced properly so that way when somebody sees your first photo your soldier profile photo your eyes jump out they can actually see you rather than you being a gloomy squinty shady character standing there in the background now in order to get this first photo with the correct lighting, you actually want the photo to be taken with something like a smartphone. You don't want a big professional camera, you don't want a model lighting rig. It'll make you look really good, but this is the wrong application. This is a social dating app. So you want it to look kind of candid, kind of unplanned and informal, not like you're making a huge effort. So it's gotta be taken with an iPhone with a beautiful lighting source, which is best found in massive big windows. So the second big tip, when you're dating and making first impressions, you need to dress for the occasion. You know, if you're gonna go on a first date or if you wanna make a great first impression, you wanna be prepared for the occasion. And that basically means groom yourself, wear a proper shirt. We all go to a couple of really fancy occasions every year, maybe weddings, Christmas, work parties, and things like that. And when you go to those kind of fancy occasions, you're gonna be you know, dressed up properly. When you're dressed for that occasion, that's when you wanna get a whole bunch of photos that you could use for your dating apps. As guys, we don't often dress for the occasion, as I said. You're judge on your personality and your prosperity. So how you look, is not really that important. But when it does come to first impressions, you need to be up to stand at the same standard that your female counterparts are dressing when they're getting their great photos that they're gonna use for their dating apps. Plus, you're gonna be in a pretty good mood when you're going to one of these great occasions for the year. That's when you need to get your photos. Of course, you can get dressed up as though you were gonna to go to an occasion and then to do your photos that way. But if you don't wanna go out of your way, an occasion's gonna come up pretty soon in your life and that's when you can get the photos that you need. All right, tip number three, that's your expression. What kind of expression do you actually wanna have in your photo? What a lot of you guys think is that you need to be some kind of Calvin Klein model or like a watch ad and looking angry and brooding. That's bad news. You don't wanna be doing that. You wanna be more like the approachable kind of guy, okay? Like a friendly giant, okay? Masculine, stature, friendly, approachable. So the emotion that you're looking for is one of relief. So if you are posing for the photo, what we do is we have this thing, it's called fighter's hands. Let me even just pose it here for you for a second. So you're starting basically in this position, hands here, fighting position, ha, right? Then instead of you posing and looking with your nose directly at the camera, we say nose, chest, hips, feet. You wanna have none of that facing the camera. Great, fighting hands, just like that. And then you wanna go through your range of emotions and almost like you're looking at somebody off the camera, okay? so. Kind of go through a range of emotions and then eventually you're going to start smiling again. So a kind of a relaxed face. You don't want to be pulling a massive smile because your face explodes. You don't want to be dead either. You want to have a bit of a laugh and then you can come into this kind of relaxed pose. That's the photo that you want to be in. This kind of hand position, telling a story, starting with your hands on your belt, smiling, looking a little bit off camera. And what I don't want to see is this macho, tough, looking at your watch, brooding, standing off camera. You don't want to be that guy. An easy expression on your face, that you're happy, that you're relaxed in your space, having fun, and you would be approachable. So, tip number four, the distance that you stand back from the camera matters a lot. You don't wanna be taking this kind of selfie. As far as photography is concerned, this focal length is called 24 millimeters. And your head looks kind of big, I'm looking at my reference monitor here, your head looks kind of big, it'd be like if you're taking a selfie. It's not great. And you know, if you're like a dad, you're taking these kind of weird, photos like this, you don't wanna be that guy. It's much better that your camera is about two and a half or three meters back. It's a far more flattering angle. So what that would look like is something like this. So when you're way further back and this is closer to 50 millimeters, especially if you're taking a portrait style photo, you have a concept called image compression and it makes you look kind of more lean, more well presented. And as far as the photography is concerned for the dating apps, you really want it to be from your belt to your head. All right, in this kind of position. So what that means is if you're going out and doing your dating app photos, you really wanna create a situation where your friend or your tripod is about two meters or three meters away from you, and you're zooming in on our iPhones, Galaxies, and Pixels. That's like a 2.5 to 3X zoom from where you're standing. That looks infinitely better than if you were standing really close and having this kind of fat head effect. 
you don't want to be having that. And tip number five is that you need to have a collection of photos. And off the top of my head, your collection of photos needs to be soldier profile, pet photo, ideally a dog, group photo, adventure photo, and then an, something like a model photo or another kind of authority photo, something like that. And ideally, in all of your photos, you want to be in social and community settings. You don't want to be like the kind of lonely guy who's standing on his own in all of the photos. So a group photo, dog photo, adventure photo, the more people you can have in your profile, the better, as long as we can clearly see you. It's a dating app. They're looking for a guy who's sociable, who's integrated, who's comfortable in a social situation. So the better that you can show that, the better it's gonna be. Today's video is brought to you by my company, The Four Week Natural, and I do live immersive coaching experiences in cities all around the world, New York, Melbourne, Thailand, Croatia, and the online mentorship events that we do as well for those guys who aren't able to travel or they wanna get things handled right away. So with the mentorship, that is you apply and then you have phone coaching with me twice a week, modules, forum, and constant back and forth with missions and goals and videos and content. At the time of recording this video, I'm the world's most experienced pickup and dating coach. No one has coached more guys on the planet on how to make their dating lives successful. And if you know anything about the dating industry, you know that there's a lot of tactics and tricks and techniques and hacks and power plays and money and body and finance and all this kind of stuff that people use to get dates. But the reality is, coming from me to you, is that it's all bullshit and personalized help wherever you are, wherever you might be in the world. But the live immersions, the four week natural, they are set up in advance. Uh, we get together, we go for groups of students up to about eight, and then we go for four or two weeks, depending on what event you go for. So check out those two links below. Mentorship has just begun and it's going brilliantly because we can do a whole lot of work with you with a whole lot of content in a short amount of time, especially pertaining to things like your dating app photographs. I can look at them, I can give you feedback, I can even show you how to edit them. So check out the link below, Alex Social Mentorship. And then if you're interested as well, we have the live immersive coaching experiences, which are an absolute blast as well. Check it out, now back to the video. So there you have it, the big five things that you need to know to make your dating app photos work immediately. That is your lighting, dress for the occasion, get your expression right, understand your distance from camera, and then apply that to all of the other photos, the list that I just listed off a second ago. But as promised, there's gonna be two awesome bonuses right now that's gonna help you to hack this process and make your dating app system work really well immediately. So bonus tip number one, if you are a guy and you're not an experienced male model, you're probably really, really bad at having your photos taken. So the way to hack this and to get good photos taken is you know, if you're on location, you're having your photo taken, don't just take a photo, take literally a thousand photos. So if you're using your phone, or if you're using a kind of small, informal, non-professional high-end camera, all cameras have burst mode settings. And what you do as you, you know, imagine if you're going through a range of emotions, if you're trying to pose for the camera, if you're trying to find that smile, if you're trying to amuse yourself, you're not gonna get that one awesome pose. But if you've literally taken a thousand photos over the course of about 90 seconds, it only takes 90 seconds to get a thousand photos, somewhere in that, you're gonna find the emotion that you're looking for. And the real hack is knowing how to review those photos quickly. It's almost like you're watching a small movie and you find that highlight in the movie by scrolling forward and back, find that smiling moment, and then that's the photo that you wanna use. So if you're not good at posing or you know if you're not good at having your photo taken, ask your friend or set it up on the tripod so you're bursting so that way, instead of you having one photo to work with, which is ultimately gonna suck, you're gonna go through a whole range of emotions and eventually find one that is really nice. You're feeling warm and approachable, the lighting is good, you've got a good smile on your face, you're kind of relaxed and relieved as the motorbikes go past. That's the photo that you're looking for. So burst mode for the win and burst mode sorting, that's what really makes this work. And you know what, even another bonus tip, there's a software called Fast Raw Viewer, right? In my Australian accent fast raw viewer and that allows you to see a lot of photos really really quickly and choose them and sort them so you can see which photo you want to use. A couple of juicy bonuses there and actually I should say that it's okay as well to use a selfie stick as long as the camera's a long way back a selfie stick can be okay but we're starting to bend the rules there but those are some pretty good bonuses I think that's definitely worth a bloody like hit a like on the video, and that always leads me to the question, what's the hardest part for you? I think the hardest part is getting somebody to take the photo for you and to take it properly for you. To stand a couple of meters back, 
to do the burst mode for you and to for you to overcome your own kind of self-consciousness and your embarrassment to you know pose around a little bit and squirm in front of camera until you get that burst of photos which is literally 500 to a thousand photos you guys find that hard and i can talk about that in the next video if that comes up in the comments and of course i can answer directly which is great for this channel so there you have it a massive deep dive into your tinder photos now obviously there's a lot more to it than that these are just preliminary ideas. We say on YouTube, we should never give away our best ideas, but that's a pretty good insight. Go and try to work on those sort of things, and then it's gonna lead you to do something like mastermind with me, book a coaching call, or book immersion, so that you can get all of these things on point and have them verified by an authority on the subject like me. But for a whole overview of all kind of Tinder and dating app things, check out this video here, because that's gonna go even deeper to the things that you're gonna to need to know to make your dating apps work successfully to get the dates that you deserve.